Ah, yes, Terry the Platypus. I will now unveil to you my cock and ball pork shirinator. For real, the last week, every time I've recorded a video, I've had to take like a 30 minute dump before. All right, guys, let's look at the facts. There are a total of two platypuses in Phineas and Ferb, Agent P and Perry the Platypus. Now, Perry is just a normal, retarded looking household pet, which by the way, I've never heard of a person on earth having a platypus as a household pet platypuses have venom what do you really want that inside your house and then there's agent p another retarded looking platypus but with a hat and really i don't think it's a coincidence that there's two platypuses in the same show when they have the exact same skin tone pattern on their tail and beaks not to mention their eyes now let me ask you this have you ever seen perry the platypus and Agent P in the same frame together. No. And not only have we ever seen Perry and Agent P in the same frame together, but there will be times in the show where Perry the platypus will go into like a tree or something, right? Or a secret door. And then the very next frame, it is Agent P. I don't know if it's just me, but I'm seeing a ton of coincidences here. Or am I crazy? And since Phineas and Ferb is one of my favorite animes ever created, right? Right? I had to get to the bottom of this. So here's the proof that Perry the Platypus is Agent P. So in this first clip, Agent P is dressed up as a dog on a mission to expose Dr. Doofenshmirtz. Dr. Doofenshmirtz. Okay, I, I pronounced that wrong. I, I'm kind of retarded. But it can't just be me that sees the striking resemblance to Perry the Platypus through these scenes. And not only does this show just the pure resemblance of Perry the Platypus as a household pet, but it also shows that Agent P isn't scared to pretend to be something he's not. I mean, this whole episode, Agent P was letting Doofenshmirtz cuddle up all on him and saying, Coochie Coochie Coo! Coochie Coochie Coo! I mean, that takes some A1 acting to do that, meaning he could definitely play the household pet role. And now this evidence may seem groundbreaking enough, but I have even more information. So during the Agent P theme song, it says Perry. He's Perry! Multiple times, implying that Agent P's name is also Perry just like Perry the platypus, meaning that the P in Agent P means Agent Perry or platypus, who knows? So is it really a coincidence that the only two platypuses in Phineas and Ferb not only look the exact same, have the same pattern on their tail and have the same beaks, but their names are both Perry. All right, guys, I solved it. I, I know I'm the hero you guys not only need, but deserve. You're welcome, everybody. I'm sorry if I did ruin Phineas and Ferb for you. You know, I they, they basically call me the film theorist. It's actually pretty hilarious how I came up with this video idea. So about a week ago, I was scrolling through Instagram and I saw this meme that was like, I'm starting to think Perry the Platypus is Agent P. And then a week later, I was watching um the film theorist, all right? And I saw a Phineas the and Ferb episode in my recommended and I was like I was like what if film theory made an episode where they're proving Perry the platypus was agent P and I just thought that would be so hilarious so I went on Twitter to go at MatPat and I was like you should make this a thing and mid at, like tweeting it I was like wait why tell him about this when I can just do it myself so yeah, your guys, uh, you're welcome for completely figuring out the, the biggest mystery of all time for you guys. You're welcome. Anyways, guys, if you did enjoy the video, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and turn on notifications. And yeah, and comment because it really helps out my channel. I love you guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.